Hi, this is Asing. Today, I would like to share how to solve the system of equations by matrix method. We can first convert the equations to matrix form. So we first copy all the coefficients. So we have 2, 3, 3, 1, minus 2, 1, 3, minus 1, minus 2. And we copy all the unknowns. So we have x, y, and z. Then it's equal to exactly the right hand number. So we have 5, minus 4, and 3. So we can let A be the coefficient matrix. 2, 1, 3, 3, minus 2, minus 1, 3, 1, minus 2. So first obtain the transpose. So we have 2, 3, 3, row to column column to row when we obtain the transpose so we have 1 minus 2 1 3 minus 1 minus 2 next is to obtain the android matrix so for the android matrix we have to first determine the cofactor of each and 3. So when we refer to the M311 row 1 column 1 which means that we have to cover row 1 and cover column 1 and we left only negative 2, negative 1, 1 and negative 2. Then next for this M3 we have to cover the first row and column 2 so which means that we left 3, 3, minus 1, minus 2. And we proceed to the last one. So we have 3, 3, minus 2, 1. And next, cover, cover. So we have 1, 1, 3, minus 2. Cover, cover. 2, 3, 3, minus 2. Cover, cover. 2, 1, 3, 1. And for the last row, we have 1, minus 2, 3, minus 1. Cover, cover, 2, 3, 3, minus 1. And the last entry, 2, 1, 3, minus 2. And don't forget, the sign of the core factor must be alternately plus minus plus. So plus minus plus minus plus minus plus minus plus. And now we should determine the values. So this is the determinant of matrix 2 by 2. So we just have to take A, D minus B, C. So we have minus 2 times minus 2 minus a b minus b c so we have 5 5 positive and next we have 3 times negative 2 minus negative 1 times 3 a b minus b c and we obtain negative negative positive then next we have 3 times 1 minus negative 2 times 3. So we obtain 9. Next, 1 times negative 2 minus 3 times 1. Minus minus plus. And next, 2 times minus 2 minus 2. 3 times 3, so we have minus 13. Next, 2 times 1 minus 1 times 3. Negative, negative, positive 1. Next, 1 times minus 1 minus 3 times negative 2. 5. Next, 2 times minus 1 minus 3 times 3. Negative, negative, positive. And we have 
2 times minus 2 minus 1 times 3. So we have minus 7. Next step is to determine the determinant of the matrix A. So which means that we just have to refer to the transpose. The first row we have 2, 1 and 3. Then we just have to copy the first row of the Android as the product. So 5, 3 and 9. Then what we have to do is just add them up. So we should have 2 times 5 plus 1 times 3 plus 3 times 9. And we obtain 40. So which means that x, y, z is equal to inverse of matrix A. So inverse of matrix A is equivalent to 1 over determinant of A times the enjoy matrix A. So which means that we should have 1 over 40 enjoy which is 5, 5, 5. 3 minus 13, 11, 9, 1 minus 7. And we times 5 minus 4, 3, the one that we have here. So remember when we perform matrix calculation, it's supposed to be row times column. So which means that we have 5 times 5 plus 3 times minus 4 plus 9 times 3 for the first entry so we have equal to 40 and times 1 over 40 which is divide 40 so we obtain 1 so x is equal to 1 and now we should proceed to the second entry we have 5 times first entry times with first entry plus second and three times with second and three plus third and three times with third and three always row times column so we have 80 divided by 40 we obtain two and we have the last row five times five plus eleven times negative 4 plus negative 7 times 3 so we obtain negative 40 divided by 40 and we obtain negative 1 so which means that x is equal to 1 y is equal to 2 and z is equal to negative 1 and hence with that so if let's say you want to check our answer whether correct we can make use of the calculator look for equation function and we look for the simultaneous equation number one and we have three unknowns here so we just have to input accordingly so we have two three three five then one minus two one minus four three minus one minus 2 and the last number is 3 so we press equal and we obtain x is equal to 1 y is equal to 2 and z is equal to negative 1 which means that we are correct and we done okay that's all for this video thanks for watching hope you like this see you